How many times have you heard from the old timer in the shop, never put a battery directly on the floor because it might discharge overnight. It's in direct contact with ground there and it completes a circuit and it can slowly discharge. Probably a lot, I have, and I've always argued with that because it kind of doesn't make sense to me. These batteries have a plastic case and plastic is not a very good conductor of electricity. So where does that contact come from? Well, instead of arguing about it, I've decided to set up a test and we're going to see for sure whether that happens. Stick with me because that is coming up right now. So just to be fair, I'm gonna put everything on this wooden block here. You can tell by the dates here that these batteries are in different states of health here. We've got one from 2015, one from 2019, and this one is from 2020, which is pretty good. All right, the first test, we're gonna set this thing to ohms. Let's just check the cases here. I'm gonna go on the positive terminal and just right here on the case, here on the side, this side, nothing. Let's go to the negative, to the case, side, this side. So I've got no continuity between these battery posts and the case. Let's check this older battery. We're getting a reading. That's <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty surprising, not much. So my scale goes up to 40 mega ohms, if you can see that there. Let's try that again. To the top of the case from the positive battery post, it just goes over 40 mega ohms. Let's try it down here. Yeah, and then we go past 40. Once you get into the higher uh, resistance readings, it takes a while for it to break through all that. So there's some continuity, very high resistance between the positive and the case. Let's try the negative. Okay, and it goes over 40. And it goes over 40. So I'm surprised to see any continuity at all but it is very high resistance. It goes beyond what the meter can read. We're gonna go negative to the case, nothing, side, this side, this side, nothing. So we've got one battery that's kind of suspect. Let's try something else. We're gonna take these batteries and put them on the steel bench. All right, if there's any continuity from this battery to the table, we'll be able to read it and I'll do two measurements. Let's try continuity first. From the positive to the table, nothing. Negative to the table, also nothing. Okay, we go over 40 mega ohms again. Let's try this on the negative. And over 40. So we kind of get the same result as when we put the terminal onto the case of the battery, it goes over 40. But it's interesting that this older battery, it's a year older than this one, has a little bit of continuity between the case and the terminal. Let's try this old one. Nothing. Opposite sides. And nothing. And one more time, I'm going to measure the voltage. So the voltage of this battery today, 12.69, 12.19, 12.06. All right, so this is the baseline. We're gonna test this out sitting on a steel bench over a one week period. It's a serious test of whether this can actually discharge a battery. You know what I'm gonna do here? Let's go a little bit more scientific. I'm gonna grab this big battery here and put it right here on the floor. This is concrete and the original myth, if you remember, was to not put batteries directly on the floor. So we've got another space here on the bench. One more battery. We haven't tested this one yet, but I'm gonna put this battery right over here on the wooden block to insulate it. And this will be our control group here. All right, we're gonna get an idea of the voltage on this control battery. All right, this battery is 12.4, let's go 12.44. So that's the control battery here. That's gonna stay on the bench, but insulated from the metal. 
All right, I hope you think this is a good scientific test. We're gonna come back in a week and check to see what the voltages are on all four batteries. One week later. Well, that rain's turned to snow, so let's go inside the shop and see how those batteries are doing. I haven't really been doing much. I'm still waiting on a head for this Ford. And I went to Toyota. I was able to get some parts from them. But that's gotta wait for the Ford to get out of here. Here's the batteries. They're still here in the shop, been sitting around. Haven't started any fires. Let's see if we've got the same voltage as we did before. 12.68. I don't remember what it was, but I'll put that on the screen. 12.20. And our control group, this is the one that's been sitting on the wood being insulated. 12.45. All right, here's the big battery sitting on the floor for a week. Let's see where the voltage is on this little guy here. 12.06. I didn't write down the results from last week, so I gotta review the video to see what the voltages were on those batteries, but it doesn't seem like they were discharged all that much. And I'm still waiting on that cylinder head for the Ford over there, it's at the machine shop. I can't really do much here in the shop, so I'm just gonna leave these things on the bench and on the floor for one more week. Let's just really give it a good test. Let's see what happens. And I'll report back in a week. Hopefully I'll have the cylinder head by then and I can actually get some work done. Two weeks later. All right, no snow today, but it's wicked cold. So let's get in the shop and check out these batteries. All right, this time I wrote it down. I've got the voltage readings here from before we left the batteries out. And this is after the first week. Let's find out what it is today. This is week number two. Leave the meter up here so you can see it. We're gonna test the brand new battery. This is the one from 2020. 12.68. All right, that's the same as last week. We got 6.8, it was 0.69 uh, before we started this test. The second one here from 2019, 12.20. Yeah, it's in line with last week also. Here's the control group, the one that's been insulated on the wood. 12.45? Yeah, that actually went up. I don't know, does that mean anything? And let's go down here to the one just down there. We're gonna go to that one there on the floor. I'll show you what the reading is. 12.06, where are we at? Yeah, that hasn't changed, 12.06. That Ford Focus is still sitting over there. I dropped off the head at the machine shop over the Christmas break, so that's why they're about three weeks out. I'm hoping to get that in the next couple of days here so I can get back to work. When I do, I'll do a video on that. But for today, I'm gonna to call this one Myth Busted. These batteries are within just a few millivolts of when we first started this test, and it's been two weeks, so I hope you agree. If you don't, leave me a comment so you can tell me what I did wrong or what I can do to improve my testing methods. But I also put a survey up on the channel and I asked everybody what they thought, and the majority has it. Most of you think putting a battery on the floor doesn't discharge it. So let's put this one to bed. I'm gonna call this one Myth Busted. Thanks for watching.